the Boomtech 181 machine, I mean, it, it, it's perfectly placed for the, to, to participate and make parts for the medical sector. And one of the um, parts, and these are really interesting, um, one of the parts you've got there is done on this machine. What is it, Lee? So, this is a surgical hook. So it's a component that's manufactured in volume. Um, it actually fits into your spine. I was going to say, where would it go? Into the, yeah. into the back, into the spine? It go, goes into the spine. Hooks, as, as you say, then, then a, a rod, if you like, is, is fed through and, 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 and screwed in the back. So you'd have a series of them, I assume, to go yeah. up the spine? Yeah. To, to straighten the spine or, pr or produce some kind of correction. And when you're making parts in the medical sector like this, you know, what, what's, what's really important? What do you have to achieve in order to, to make the part correctly? Obviously, precision and quality are important, but cycle time is important on this. These are made in volume and they've got to be made to a, to, to, to a cost. So the way we produce these is, is, is we bar feed in through the main spindle and do the first operation. But then we transfer this, we cut the components off and transfer it then to the, 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 the second work area, which is then simultaneously producing the second operation whilst the first operation started again. So you're getting two, two for the price of one really in terms of cycle time. But what challenges would you face with machining parts like this? Is it, you know, the complexity of the part, the materials, where you've got to get to on the part? Are these factors that clearly a machine of this capability can overcome? Do you have some problems like that? Yeah, I mean, this is, um, looks a relatively simple part and I suppose you could say it is, but it's still a, a five axis part. You've got angular features to machine. So in, the, in this machine, you bar feed in, you've got the orientation on your head so you can do full simultaneous five axis machining. And then like I say, you've got the second spindle simultaneously, second spindles simultaneously machining. 